Board of Education will now reconvene. Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. After the pledge, remain standing. For a moment of silence, please remember those who have passed before you. Thank 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 you.
guest chair as well. So we're really excited to see a return of Mitt Patel. <laughs> We are going to honor our Battle of the Books students. Uh, the Suffolk County Battle of the Books program is a countywide reading program competitive for those teens entering grades 6 through 9. This year, 42 libraries from all over Suffolk County competed against each other in a two-day event held at the Javits Lecture Center in Stony Brook University. A special thank you to Abigail Breslin. Is she here tonight? Angela. Oh, Angela. <laughs> Sorry, Angela. Why don't you stand up? So Angela is our, is our teen librarian, and she has been doing this event for almost 10 years. 10 years, so please come on. Uh, the team, you want to talk a little bit about your team, or you want me to sure. break? Our team, oh, you break. <laughs> I'll leave. It was the 20th anniversary of that, the Suffolk County Battle of the Books this year. So they had eight titles like always, Five were classic titles brought back, and that's how we got our team name of the Mixed Up Muggles. Because Harry Potter was one of the one of the books. Um, out of the 42 teams for our round, we tied for fourth, and overall we tied for seventh. So we so we'd like to recognize each of the students. Thank you. Um, I'm going to call their names, even if they're not here. Nicholas Curl. Aiden and Laura 
Lawrence McCourt, <laughs> Genevieve and Rebecca and Joseph Moulton, <laughs> Amanda and Josh Peroni, <laughs> CJ Ryder, Amanda Adair, which was a graduating senior, so she's not here. Natalie Page.
Scott, along with his wife and his two daughters, actively foster animals for last chance animal rescue and have saved over 100 dogs from high kill shelters in South Carolina in just the last few years. <laughs> Their office doubles as a center for animal adoption, which, of course, if you've been there, is also true for the group and for the rescue mission that has infected this unleashing staff as well. Scott also serves as the director of the Suffolk County Girl Scouts and enjoys the lessons of Sir Richard Branson, the writings of Not Bull Gladwell, and various pirate and adventurous stories. If you do what you love and surround yourself with people you care about, it's not really worth it. Which is true. So here's where I get to say this. On May 12, 2016, Scott received the Long Island Business News Top CEO Award, an honor reserved for Long Island's top executive of firms and organizations who consistently demonstrate remarkable leadership skills integrity, values, vision, and a commitment to excellence, financial performance, community service, and diversity. Just last week, in an organization that has over a thousand members, the Hopbock Industrial Association of Long Island's annual business achievement award and the small business category went to the Sun Nation. Sun Nation Solar Systems is the 128th ranked solar company in the United States. Mr. Maskin is a proud father of two Connecticut High School graduates, Rachel, the class of, uh, the class of 2013, and Allison, from the class of 2016, who you may remember, also served as a Board of Education student representative for the 2014-15 school year, just like you ladies. Mr. Maskin is also an inaugural member of our Business Advisory Council and hosts Connecticut High School students as interns within his organization. He is a true role model for our students. Please help me commend Mr. Scott Maskin as a Connecticut Community Resident of Excellence. from 17 years old to 52 years old of the members of my team are either students here, they have students here, or their parents are students here. So this uh, community is a, a great source for a workforce as well. So 